Radhi Abramovich, but here it is, another set piece for Singapore. Now the fans are getting excited. They play it wide for John Wilkinson. This time he will shoot. He asked for a handball. And Durich, well, they're screaming at the referee. They're surrounding the referee now. They have to watch. It's Mustafic from Rudin who leads the protest. Mustafic losing the ball in midfield, asking for a free kick. He's not going to get it. Nice little swivel and turn from Danga. Good skill from the big guy. But Haki has to watch and does as well. It's very lucky there, Singapore, very lucky there by Faradeen. They got no call, got pinched off by Dunga and uh, great defending by Daniel Bennett and by Haki there. Let's see if Sharil Ishak is daring enough to take them on for a run. That's a superb pass by Sharil. Alexander Duric, it's open, it's free. There are no Singapore players inside the penalty box though. What a great ball there by uh, Sharil Ishak. We're talking about him not getting uh, the ball. Vietnam and Thailand. Let's see what, how they defend this free kick, oh! That was close. The Singapore head got to it first in the form of Mustafic Farudin. It just couldn't get what he was trying to do, but it needed more swerve onto that. By Haki, poor touch from him. Daniel Bennett has kept Su Chao onside. And their players waiting for the cross to come in. And Rudin gets up Chaiman. Would you believe it? The two players who have scored against Singapore tonight ply their trade in the S-League. They've never heard of the phase, do not bite the hand that feeds. Takes up Chaiman has surely put the game out of reach now. With 15 minutes remaining, it's Thailand 2, Singapore nil. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm completely stunned there, but what a magnificent uh, goal. What a beautiful ball by Suchao. That's just poor. Defending, poor running back with the third sack there. I mean, really only had one man to hit. But what a magnificent ball and what a magnificent finish by uh, the oldest man on the field there. I mean, they're just two defenders just ball watching there. Absolutely. It was his SAFFC teammate, Saiful Isa, who allowed the sack to get a steal on him. <laughs> Corson did die for it, but had everything covered. Well, we can wax lyrical about uh, Tetsak Chaiman getting the goal, but let's not forget as well the wonderful work done by Su Chaiman. Is it onside? The referee says yes. And that is that. Chaiman had won in Singapore as Suti Suksongkit. Gets his praise against his former teammate from Tampines Rovers, Hassan Sani. What a beautiful uh, goal, great movement, uh, magnificent ball by number 10, Dangda. Split uh, the Singapore defense, there's the split there. And, uh, well, Suti, how good is this guy? Uh, I'm not surprised Melbourne victory in the A-League have taken him because uh, that was magnificent. On the wrong side, I know he's a left uh, footer, but look at that, with his right. Any striker or any potential youngster I want to see finish, that is a magnificent finish by Suti. And uh, deservedly so. That's as demoralizing and as deflating as it can get. Here's Cairo Amri. Does well. Is that a penalty? Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> well, they haven't conceded a goal yet at this tournament, Thailand. So here's Singapore's opportunity to puncture Kosin Hatarakanakon's clean sheet record. It's been close to about uh, 180 odd minutes without conceding a goal. It'll be interesting to see that on the, on the replay, Mark. Uh, it looked like a definite foul from uh, from up here. Here's the replay. Kyrill's in the box. And Pank Dankrick. It's very soft. Yeah, it's a, it, it is a very soft penalty. And uh, look, Singapore will take it at the moment. And they need to uh, score and give themselves, uh, give them, you know, them, themselves a, a chance to at uh, least uh, get back into the game. But it's still a, a tall order to do that. Well, it was a very controversial penalty in the ASEAN Football Championships that resulted in Thailand walking out of that match and it happened right about this time as well in that game. That however was for 2-1 Singapore, this is for 1-3 and for a glimmer of hope.
The same person who took the penalty that night is behind the ball yet again. Mustafa Tarouni, there is no more card this time, but there is a yellow card for a high player. Saw the referee flashing one at him. Not sure who though. I don't think it's dead time. He's trying to break up a little mob over there. Well, it can't be turned safe because he's already on the yellow card. If that was, uh, that would have been his second yellow card. So uh, I think it's uh, it's got to be another Thai player there. Kosin Hatlakanakon against Mustafa Farude. Well, Roddy will not be happy with his charges before his goalkeeper's not even on his goal. He's there at the moment. This is a farce, isn't it? I've never, I've never ever seen anything like this before in my whole, in my whole career here. I don't know what the goalkeeper is trying to do. Well, he's trying to put Mustafa off. It's a little bit of gamesmanship here. Yeah, it's very unsportsmanlike there by the goalkeeper. I hope uh, Mustafa puts it in the back of the net this time. He should be booked for that. The referee said it's okay. Do it again and you will. This is for 1-3. Singapore have a glimmer of hope and they have seven minutes to try to rescue this and yeah. score two goals. Yeah, beautifully taken there by Farouddin. Uh, he didn't get uh, put off. Obviously, the, the Thai goalkeeper did everything to uh, to put him off uh, his game there. But very, very nicely taken and uh, at least gives him a little bit of a hope. They've got about ten minutes. Never heard the Thai team throughout the night. That's how China comes away with the ball. Here is Kirasin Danda. It's three against three. Well, most of his goals for SAFFC have come from free kicks. He doesn't score many, but a goal is needed from Saipolisa right now. It's always going wide. The Fanatics, of course, it always makes it look closer than it is. Uh, I think the paper had that. Uh, they can play keep ball from here and force Singapore to come out of their shell and try to take the ball back from them. Shot is on. It's not a bad one. Hassan Sunny had it covered all the way though. Yeah, Suti's looking for his hat trick there. And, uh, with uh, Johnny Wilkinson. Might be a little too intricate. That's not a bad cross. Oh, it's a bad miss though by Alexander Gurich of all people. That was a magnificent cross there by uh, Shaiful Issa and uh, big Alex Gurich will be uh, Really disappointed with his finishing there because that was right on the money. Look at this. That is a magnificent cross and that should have been 3-2. And uh, the big fella doesn't deserve that because he's worked so hard tonight. Been feeding on scraps. Intelligent pass to Dutsan. They're inviting him to shoot, which he does. Lacking in venom. Hassan Sunny trying to get the game rolling. It's just... Uh, Little more than those two games, and uh, you know, it's you can see the frustration. And uh, they well done to Thailand, they definitely came here, and they deserve uh, the 3 1 uh, win. And uh, now it just uh, puts the Singapore team on the back foot a little bit and go into Thailand to get a result. Absolutely right. So, win will be imperative now for the Lions in Thailand. That happens on Wednesday, but on this Saturday at the National Stadium, the fans turned up. The Lions, however, did not turn up in the first half as Thailand were walking all over them. Let's have a look at the highlights. He's scratching his head, you know. Uh, look, they've only got themselves to blame. It was a poor performance in the first 45 minutes. And, uh, you know, let's just hope uh, their second half performance they can take to Thailand. Thailand move two points ahead of Singapore right now, who need to go to Bangkok on Wednesday and get a result, a victory over there. The final score at the National Stadium, Singapore 1, Thailand 3.